all right what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back today we're gonna be jumping into some more jojo's bizarre adventures episode 13 and 14 of stardust crusaders and i am ready i'm ready for the challenge of waking up and seeing what they're going to do next what is the stands going to do next what are new powers they're going to introduce um as i said jojo's bizarre adventure is not a deep ass story for you to for anybody it, you just gotta just sit down and just enjoy this for what it is you get what i'm saying it's a heroes versus villain story as classic as it can be you get what i'm saying with with super memes <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's funny it's dreadful it can be sad it has those elements to it as a roller coaster of emotions but at the end of the day jojo is jojo you get what i'm saying it is what it is i am interested more about the lore in this show more than anything as in who are the joe stars you get what i'm saying like who are they why is their lineage so important for humanity itself you get what i'm saying um so i think that's what's really keeping me watching to know more about the joe stars and we're finding out more and more about them even in this season um finding out about how strong the bloodline is with everybody that's a joe star why is my phone ringing big mother yeah so my phone decided to start ringing i'm not answering when i finish my intro i will answer it but any case yeah so yeah appreciate you guys as always man let's jump into these reactions and i will see you guys for the review all right so that was episode 13 and 14 of jojo stardust crusaders man that was pretty cool um i liked i, I was cracking up i was cracking up laughed a lot during those two episodes but that's what jojo is all about man it's all pretty much to make you laugh there are some really scary shocking moments there's some really creepy i was making my skin crawl a little bit there the holes in the bodies the, the weird acne that's not acne okay let me acne doesn't look like that if acne looks like that go to the doctor okay go to the doctor that's not acne okay that's something else that looks like cancer growing on your face okay <laughs> that's not acne okay got ugh, it was leaking oh my skin is crawling again ah oh, just thinking about it so these episodes are pretty cool man i like them i like them you know what i'm saying pretty cool episodes so far when it comes on to these episodes i just really like how they structure these episodes because it's like okay we're on this journey to egypt right but they gotta go through so many different countries to get there and you might be wondering why don't they just fly there i mean they have access to airplanes um that is some this is a question i'm asking too but hey it is what it is they don't want to fly there or maybe back in those days they you know they couldn't catch a flight that far maybe they didn't have planes that f flew that far um, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a long trip to go from Asia to, 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 to Africa period. So it's like, yeah, I mean, so I understand what they're doing that, but I'm enjoying the episodes, man. Um, girl left, um, she left. So they're free of her and her antics and stuff like that. I was wondering if she was going to be around the whole time and you know, she's not, she's not going to be so. Um, but this um, lady with the um, I don't even remember the name of the stand but whatever <laughs> you know the name of her stand is let me see here the name of her stand is she said it like so many times during the episode you know Emperor is it Emperor I think it's emperor 101 or something of the sort i'm looking it up i think it's emperor one something of the sort like that 
It's a weird name. Well, not really a weird name, but some of the times I, you know, like I'm trying to correlate the names. You know, I'm trying to correlate the names of the of the stands with the pictures that they show with the tarot cards. And it, I just most of the time I just I, I can't figure it out. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's just weird to me. Most of the times I can't figure out like what it is, but like j like I'm looking for it to be like the hangman it doesn't really look like a hangman. You know, I mean, centerfold, he just got folded, you know, he just got folded, man. And I'm looking towards to see what they're going to do to, uh, you know, so it's like for me, you know, once she's out of the way, are we going to go on to DOR? There's going to be more challenges before they get to Egypt because we're in episode 14 with a good, um, I want to say, um, how many episodes left? You know, now that we've watched 14, there's like, before we get to the Egypt arc, the Egypt arc starts with episode 25. So 10 episodes left for this main part of it and then we go into the Egypt arc starting with episode 25 so great stuff so far man um, I wonder how they're gonna beat this old lady because she basically can control fog like you know and once they have a wound she can get the fog into that wound and create those holes so they gotta make sure that they don't get cut at all you know what I'm saying so I'm looking forward to seeing what they're going to do, man. Episode 13 um, was really good, you know, with them against the dude with the car, the, the car stand or whatever. That was a pretty cool episode. Um, I like to see the different stands, you know what I'm saying? And how they're going to battle against those stands. We don't know what Dio's stand is yet, um, but of course... We got to see Joseph use his stand for other other than, you know, just kind of like looking into the future or whatever. So I guess we'll see what they're going to do next. I appreciate you guys for sticking around to hear me mumble, but it is what it is. Not it's not going to always be a long ass review all the time. OK, especially when these episodes are really like they're just flying by, you know, but I'm enjoying it. You know, it's a lot of funny stuff that happened. Like, I was laughing my ass off, man. I was laughing. <laughs> you know? Um, there's certain things that just happens. You know, it's just memes. It's just meme central. This anime is just the meme. You know what I'm saying? It's the meme. You know what I mean? Um, it's just crazy how he got... <laughs> The dude thought he killed Jotaro. Is like, yo, part three is over. Let's go home. <laughs> I win. I'm going to be the main character now. I'm glad that they could make fun of themselves like that. You know, being self-aware, breaking the fourth wall. That is always good to see in anything that you watch. That's the reason why Deadpool is so um, successful as though it is. Even though, you know, I still think. You know, the first Deadpool is still better than the, the second Deadpool movie. Um, you know, it's still entertaining to see. That's why it did so well. You know, that's why Deadpool did so well. It's because of the, you know, you feel like you're a part of something that you're not a part of. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because of Deadpool just speaking into the screen and breaking the fourth wall. So I like when that happened, man. It's always funny you know when shows are self-aware and they can show that so i really do appreciate that but in any case guys see you guys for the next one of course don't forget to like the video don't forget to comment and i will catch you guys for the next one tomorrow appreciate y'all peace